Neil, Theo, congratulations. You've made it into the finale for this competition. There's only one thing you have left to do, and that is to go back home and recreate an iconic weapon from history. The Tai Chi Sword. Emerging from China over 2,500 years ago, the Tai Chi Sword is known as the gentleman of weapons due to its refinement and sophistication. Symbolizing power and authority, the weapon is one of the most common ancient weapons still in practice, with millions of students studying it worldwide. Fast and light, its straight double-edged blade was used for quick stabs and lethal cuts, while the sword's fairly blunt lower section was built to block and deflect attacks. Its reputation is also preserved in popular culture through its role as the coveted Green Destiny sword in the film Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Your blade must be double-edged, have a winged guard, and pommel. Last time I was on the show, I made a Naginata. In comparison, the Tai Chi sword has a lot more blade. It's gonna be a lot of work. You will have five days at your home force to accomplish this. At the end of five days, you'll return and present your work to our panel of expert judges. And only after they've brutally tested them will they declare one of you the Forged and Fire Champion of Champions and give you that cash. I'm concerned because the Tai Chi sword is really light. I probably have regular knives that are heavier than that whole sword. So that's a challenge for me. Good luck, bladesmiths. We'll see you in five days. Best luck, man. It's a definite honor to be in the position that I'm at. I got to build a Tai Chi sword. I think they're confused. I'm not Chinese. <laughs> it's going to be a hard job. This is the first time I've ever made something this long. Holy shit. But I'm never going to quit. It's heavy. I guarantee you mine's going to be heavier than Theo's. I don't like skinny little things. I like things with some stout. <laughs> this thing's monster. Here we are at my forge. Very first thing I'm going to do is start forge welding things together. Please go right. The biggest obstacle is the raw amount of forging I have to do. Then getting the guard to forge weld to the blade itself, and then being able to forge the pummel on as well. If the welds don't hold, everything will be coming apart. How important are guards on swords? They can be integral. But on. I really need to make a guard for this sword. It needs a guard that's winged up. So what better than a bowl? There's a lot of pressure to build something champion of champion worthy. But I don't want to lose who I am, which is taking anything that anybody can get and create something that can compete. This is like Chinese, so they can eat soup out of it at the same time. <laughs> Today's a quench. Big moment of truth. Should have practiced this motion with this new setup. If things go wrong right now, I got to start again. So no pressure. Perfectly straight. Things went amazingly well. But now I got to work on the handle material. It's definitely going to be the most challenging part of this weapon. Uh, come on, Theo. Christ. If I don't get this to sit well inside of the little valley that I've created here, it's going to look horrible. Today is important. The blade has to be heated evenly. Trying to get the sword lighter has been kind of difficult. And being that this is the longest thing I've ever heat treated, I'm not really set up for it. I can kind of feel it want to bend because of the weight of the tip. So I am a little bit scared. My blade is straight. I don't have to re-quench it. I'm stoked. Today's all about polishing and finishing. I'm happy with the blade. If I win, the money would most likely go to starting a new life with my wife. I had to put that in there. I'd get in trouble if I didn't. Oh, God, we're still recording. I'm sorry, Daisy. Theo, Neil, welcome back to the forge. Theo, tell us about your blade. It went very well. Uh, I did an integral garden pummel by forge welding on both of them. The blade's handle is relatively simple construction so that it can be beaten out of. 
You sound monotonally excited about that. <laughs> Neil, how'd it go for you, man? Same recipe as the last time I was here. Go to the junkyard, get some stuff, because I didn't expect to make it this far. <laughs> All right. Well, gentlemen, up first is the strength test. Ben? Champions, I'm going to be hitting this bamboo five times. Remember, it's not what your sword does to the bamboo, but what the bamboo does to your sword. Theo, you're up first. How you feeling? A little nervous. Let's go for it. Well, Theo, this is a brute of a sword. The edge held up perfectly. I don't see any problems. Still straight as an arrow. The handle is a little bit difficult to really control. I would have liked a little bit more meat on it, but very well done. Thank you. Neil, you're up next. Boy, that's a tough test. <laughs> that bamboo setup, it's literally just blunt force trauma. I don't think a lot of blades can survive that kind of jarring and punishment. Well, Neil, the sword is heavy. I wouldn't want to be running around with it. There's a little bit of damage that the bamboo gave back to your sword, but it's still straight. Very well done. Nice job. Thank you. Next up is the sharpness test for that, Dave. All right, gentlemen, I'm going to be chopping through these tatami mats using both edges of your sword. Let's see if your blades still have an edge. Yeah, you're up first. You ready for it? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm very nervous at this point. This is the make it or break it moment. I have to perform well on this test. All right, Theo, definitely a sharp blade. You can see the nice clean slice and then burying into the second. I like the design. It's definitely a solid piece. And that's one of the nice things about it. I don't feel like it's going to go anywhere. Well done. Thank you. All right, Neil, you ready? Yep. <laughs> So the biggest thing is all that weight, about twice what it needs to be as far as weight goes. It's difficult to swing. And then the edge of this blade, it's got a very stout profile, almost like an axe. Just kept it from cutting all the way through. Theo, Neil, we took five champions. We whittled it down to two, but there can only be one Forged and Fire champion of champions. That champion is. Theo, congratulations. Neil, unfortunately, your weapon did not make the cut. Neil, you came up and showed us that you had the heart to make it to the finals and against four other champions. But your sword took some damage during the strength test. But more than that, it's heavy. A Tai Chi sword is known to be strong, sharp, and light. For those reasons, we have to let you go. Neil, please surrender your weapon. I 100% agree with the judges. Theo earned it. But I don't look at this as a failure in any means, because I gave it my all. I can walk away, look everybody in the eye, and have everyone's respect. And that's worth more to me than any title or any amount of money. Theo, congratulations. You are the new Forged and Fire Champion of Champions, and will be receiving a check for $10,000. How do you feel right now? Whew, the, nerve, the butterflies and the nerves are still going, but thank you guys. Please present your weapon to the judges. A one! Ah! <laughs> My ego was pretty big beforehand, and uh, I think this is only going to inflate it. Not a good thing, not a bad thing. I think. <laughs>